Good morning. It's the Monday the 30th, I'm looking because it says it down here. Monday the 30th of October 2023. Um, I'm just getting myself ready. Me and my husband are going to Clark's Village at Street, which is like a factory shop type place. And um, he wants some jeans. And I don't particularly need anything. The only thing I thought I might look at, out for is some like either comfier jeans or some sort of something softer and comfier to wear around the house because I'm spending a lot more time around the house I used to always wear dresses for work and I don't tend to wear dresses around the house just I don't know you know going up and down the stairs you're likely to trip on the dresses because most of mine are long so I thought I'll look out for some either really soft jeans or some sort of not sure about tracksuit bottoms I don't know if that suit me but anyway so I've worn jeans today so it's easier for me to change I was gonna put a dress on and then I thought no if you're gonna try things on you need two parts so I've got Marks and Spencer's ensemble on I've got this blouse on that I got ages ago and my wide leg MS jeans so I'm gonna put some face on and uh, prepare myself using this primer at the moment it's from Avon um, it's not good. I, ha I had really vivid dreams again last night I've got a lot actually recently like full colour film sort of thing um, <clears throat> it was fine it wasn't like a horrible dream or anything but yeah it was full on and then I woke up and I looked at my phone and I know you shouldn't but I did and I saw something on TikTok that really upset me and it's made me feel really anxious so I need to learn from that experience and not look at my phone until my body is able to take in things and rationalise them rather than wake up and see something horrible and go oh my god so that was a bit awkward but anyway I'm getting ready to go we're having a, a trip out it has rained so much over the last couple of weeks it's beyond ridiculous i don't know if you've all had rain or if it's just down here but yeah every day it's tipped it down at some point during the day luckily yesterday i managed to get out for two walks well i took jenny out and then i went out for two walks on once on my own and once with my hobby um so that was good but that was in between the showers i haven't even looked at the forecast today but all the in and out of shops so doesn't make too much difference do you know what i really don't know what i'm doing with this makeup i just sort of slap it on and hope for the best <laughs> maybe i should watch some makeup tutorials or something nah nah it's not gonna happen still not heard anything regarding the move and the house and stuff um yeah just holding out at the moment um we'll see see how long that goes on for um shop wise i think i only did one day in the shop yes this last week um i am going down to, after we get back this afternoon because i've got somebody a couple of people come in to pick things up so let's start oh and thank you for people who ordered on my website i've seen this morning that i've got some orders but i haven't actually looked at them because i have to log into my website and uh i haven't got the wherewithal to do that quite yet but thank you to anybody who did um right i'm gonna get myself together thoughts together as well as get my makeup on and I'll get back to you. Right, makeup done. Um, it's only about half past seven. But whenever I go anywhere with my husband, he always wants to go out as early as possible. So I had a look what time the shop, I thought they didn't open till 10. So I'd said to him originally, oh, they open at 10. So we're like, oh yeah, that's fine. Well, it takes about over, just over an hour to get there. We'll set off about nine. I thought, oh, that's nice. Nice leisurely start to the day, but then, I realised that they opened at nine, so I told him and he went, okay, well, we'll get off about eight then. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it is, this obsession with getting off as early as possible. Anyway, beat the crowds and all that. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, ow, yeah, done. I'm gonna, if I can't find anything today, or if I see something that's not quite right, but then I know what I want. I'm gonna go online and order some things, I think. Some loungewear. Cause I, yeah, I, I've got pajamas, obviously. But I think loungewear. It's like a whole new kettle of fish, isn't it? On, Jen, let's go. Jenny's becoming increasingly lazy. Took her out yesterday, literally just got to the other side of the park, just pulling me to come home again. Look, she's stopped now. Come on, I have to drag her a little bit, otherwise, she's literally wanting to get home already. Just got to the park. Come on, Jen. I think it's like separation anxiety from my hubby rather than not wanting to walk because she always walks better when he's there and um, she does sometimes do a pull but not not like she does for me she knows he's home so she wants to get back to him I think
I don't know if that caught your swearing on the video there. <laughs> uh, um, we've just finished at street. We're going to head home. Uh, we've done quite quick time. I don't know what time it is, but I would think it's only about half 11. We're going to head home and we've got some soup in the fridge that can warm up. And we were just laughing because um, technology was getting the better of us. <laughs> went to the loo, couldn't work out how to use the sink, how to get the water to come out, how to get the soap, how to get the dryer, <laughs> it's just one of these fancy newfangled things. It wasn't just us though, because I could hear, when I went for a wee, I could hear the ladies going, what do I do, how do I get it on? <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's busy here now, the car park's packed out. So we got my husband's jeans, we went into Levi, and um, he ended up getting three pairs, he was going to get two pairs anyway. But the offer was if you spent over 160 pounds, I think it was, you got 20% off. So it kind of made sense for him to get three pairs. So we did that. We were very tempted by Le Creuset. Um, oh, it's such a gorgeous shop. I would have filmed in there, but the lady was staring at me. <laughs> um, they have such lovely colours of everything. So that's something we may treat ourselves to in the future. Uh, went into super dry. I tried on some tracky bottoms which made me feel hideous and we tried on some hoodies but everything's so small like yeah so it feels tight and everything so we didn't buy any of those uh, husband got some nice sort of I don't know what you call them shoes trainers or walking boots somewhere in between the three from Clark's they're really nice so we got those and I got a pair of tracky bottoms from I don't know what that shop was called, Tog something? Yeah, something like that. Just for wearing around the house and stuff, because I'm spending more time around the house. Right, we're back. We um, popped to Aldi on the way back just to do a bit of a top up shop. So I'll show you what we picked up. I've got the soup on, because we're both hungry. It's Gone half one, so we are uh, looking forward to a bit of lunch. Turn them down a bit. I'll show you what I bought in now. It's just a bit of a top up shop. So, got some more of this Romaine hearts, sweet potatoes, satsumas, some meatballs, a red pepper, some carrots, eggs, tomatoes, spinach, some more mackerel, some rice. We just find it easier when there's just the two of us. One of these between us is enough, so easier than doing a pan of rice. Mixed beans, apples. I love this yogurt for my breakfast. So milk, extra virgin, olive oil and some whiskey for my husband. It's about 20 to 3 and I've come down in the shop so that I can pack my orders and I've got a couple of people coming to pick things up. So I just want to say thank you to Julie, Susan, Michelle and Janice who all, all ordered on my website. So I really, really, really appreciate it. I put my wax melt on, even though I'm only going to be here for down for an hour or so, but it's that velvet orchid. Absolutely gorgeous. Would definitely re recommend. Right. I am going to get on because I need to, to do things. I see a woman watching me through the window, so I moved over here. <laughs> um, I'm waiting for another customer to come and pick up something. And then that's it really for today. I think we're going to have um, cold chicken. We had roast chicken yesterday, so we're going to have cold chicken and salad for tea. And um, that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'd love you to give me a thumbs up and leave us a comment, even if it's just an emoji. And um, of course, if you haven't subscribed, then think about doing that. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon.